What's up guys, this is your man Coach Sambo and in this video I will be showing you guys how to make beginner freeze combos, or as I like to call it, freeze stacking. Coming right up. Eight police officers in the hospital. So what's up guys, this is your man Coach Sambo and welcome to my YouTube channel. A place where you can find tons of breaking tutorials and also a lot of random b-boy and b-girl stuff. So if you're new to the YouTube channel right here, definitely consider subscribing by smashing that little red button that you can find right there. After subscribing, YouTube will then notify you every time I upload a new video, which is pretty cool, huh? So yeah, combining freezes together is a really smart way of gathering more points and showing more content as you battle or do a showcase or whatever. Somebody who's stacking freezes in a battle against you is basically showing way more stuff and a higher difficulty level when combining all these freezes together. So if I would battle you and I would hit 15 different freezes at the end of my round and you would just do a sad one freeze at the end of your round, then that's gotta be a pretty magical freeze right there if you wanna beat my 15 freeze combo. I'm just saying this so you have an idea of how much the value actually raises once you combine freezes together and use that in your set and in your round for your battles. So that's why I made this video because for some beginners it's really hard to combine freezes and make freeze combos. But after watching this video, it's gonna be a walk in the park. So the first thing I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna give you a lot of different basic freeze combos that I teach my beginner students. After these beginner combos that I'm gonna teach you guys right here and the tips that are included, I'm then gonna add additional information to help you create your own freeze combos. That's gonna be for later in the video. But first of all, if you're a real, real, real beginner, just notice that I do not teach you the freezes in this video. I have separate tutorials where I teach you the headstand and the handstand and the turtle freeze and the baby freeze and all the hundred variations that are included in that video. You can find links to these videos in the description down below. Now let me just bump bombard you with these beginner freeze combos right here. So try to keep up. The first one is going from a headstand to the turtle freeze or baby freeze. And the simplest way to execute this is by sliding your head to the side, using just enough strength to catch that turtle or baby freeze. The next one right here is going from a headstand to an elbow freeze. Now when standing on your head, you simply want to place your elbow next to your head. Once everything is in position and you kind of feel the balance, you just got to find that perfect moment to lift your head off the floor and slightly stick that elbow freeze. The next one is combining the turtle freeze with the head bridge. For this one, you simply want to perform your turtle freeze and then let yourself fall backwards but putting enough pressure on your head to lift a little bit of weight and then connect it to the head bridge. Don't forget to watch that form within the head bridge. The next one is a headstand to the air baby. Now within your headstand you want to first place your knee against your elbow positioning everything on that perfect spot to then shift your weight onto the arms and then lift your head off the floor and then executing that air baby. If you have a good frog stand this shouldn't be a problem. The next one is combining your elbow freeze with an air baby but it's not a real air baby it's basically like an elbow freeze air bait. Definitely not that hard to try out. Just make sure you place that knee on the right position on your elbow and try and create that picture moment when executing a freeze. Next one is going from the turtle freeze into the chair freeze, which is in the same direction as what we just did with the head bridge. But now of course you want to connect it to that chair freeze. If you don't know how to do a chair freeze, then you definitely want to check out my baby freeze tutorial with like 50 something different variations that I share with you guys. Next one is performing a baby freeze and then heading on over to a side freeze. And then once in that side freeze, you want to try and lift your head up, creating more of a variation of the side freeze. Another beginner basic combo is doing a tabletop freeze and then combining it to the same freeze on the other side by rolling over the shoulders. Not hard at all, but if you're asking yourself how to execute this tabletop freeze, then you should definitely check out my shoulder freeze tutorial that you can find on my YouTube channel. So this was a bunch of beginner freeze combos that I teach my students. But of course, the amount of combos we can perform are absolutely infinite. So pay good attention to the guidelines that I'm gonna share right now. First of all, different shapes and different forms within a freeze can also lead to extra possibilities. If I would use three or four different shapes or forms within a freeze, it basically makes it three or four different freezes. Combined with other freezes on top of that, then you're just winning the freeze lottery right there. So try and practice and develop as much different forms and shapes with the freezes that are available to you. So you learn how to max out and get everything you can out of that one freeze. The next note right here is make sure that you practice your freezes on both sides. To be honest, you should practice all of your freezes on both sides because it's gonna lead to so much more advantages, and so much more possibilities when combining and stacking freezes 
freezes together. So try and make a habit of this throughout your practice sessions of just training your freezes on both sides. You'll thank me later. The next guideline right here is just sharing with you that strength and body control will definitely help you out with the harder combos. Pushing yourself up from a baby freeze up into an air baby or going from your turtle freeze all the way up to a handstand, these are things that demand strength. So the more you work out and the more you work on strength, the more advantage you will have when creating freeze combos. Not gonna lie, that's how it is. I share some very vital strength exercises in my handstand tutorial, of which the link can be found in the description down below. So get working on those arms. Then moving on to the last guideline right here is the pump position. Using a pump position basically creates a hop. So you can hop from one freeze to the other, which is definitely a help in hand when you're going from low freezes all the way up. But it's also a very good technique that works the other way around, going from higher freezes down to lower freezes and catching all of that weight with this pump position. I teach a lot about this pump position in my one hand hop tutorial. So if you want to know all the details on the form and the technique and all that, then you should definitely check out that video. Using a proper pump technique to combine freezes to other freezes is a big step forwards in the game of stacking freezes and creating freeze combos. So you're pretty glad I mentioned it right here, huh? So guys, if you learned a lot from this video and this video is at your level, then I could definitely recommend you guys to check out my beginner's masterclass that you can find on my website. It's a 70 minute video and it includes everything that I teach my students the first two years when they start breaking. The video is about 30 bucks and it's definitely going to change your b-boy life forever because it's your man Coach Sambo explaining that shit. So if you're interested in the masterclass, head on over to my website. The link is in the description down below. So did you enjoy this video? Did you learn something from this video? Then smash the like button and smash a random ass comment. Make it a funny one. I love funny comments. <laughs> and meanwhile, while entertaining me, it's helping me boost this channel all the way up to Number one. This is your man Coach Sambo, your mother online b-boy coach. Don't forget to give me five mother push-ups. And at the end of the day, my good friends, when you think about it, it's just all about that b-boy shit.